I suppose. I mean, what has been really said? What can we expect out of the speech? And, you know, why should we really be paying that much attention to it? Okay, so Marcus himself had said that um, the Philippines has made significant progress in his first year uh, in, in, two, in two things, and how the government works and how the Philippines is perceived around the world. So we expect him to elaborate on that. And in his first uh, speech uh, last year, he um, set out uh, goals for the economy. So for this year, the goal is to grow the economy by 6 to 7%. So we expect him to... Um, uh, to say how we're faring so far and how he plans to uh, for the economy to grow the economy further for the rest of the year, given uh, different challenges, including inflation locally and also a um, uh, bleak global outlook. We know that military pension reform is a priority legislation. Talk to us more about that. Yes. So has um, Marcos and his cabinet officials have been saying in the past days, stressing the urgency of doing this now. So uh, his finance secretary has even said that if we don't do this, we are at risk of a fiscal collapse. So as a background, uh, the government now is fully funding the pension of soldiers. So that's straining the budget. So what Marcos and his cabinet is trying to do is to develop a system by which uh, soldiers can contribute to their pensions while also keeping the military happy. So. Um, we will see how they will balance that, and we will see if Marcos will mention this in his second speech before Congress today. Andrew, you know, of course, his uh, father's uh, programs that had a big, big impact on what happened in the Philippines years ago. Now, how much influence are those programs bringing to themselves? To, well, how much are they influencing Marcos's policies in the, the first year gone? Yeah, so... If we, if we look back, there are some similarities to what the elder Marcos is doing with what the current president is doing. For, for one, um, his agricultural programs, his, his push to uh, help farmers sell their products to consumers is, is, is named the same as his father's program back then. So there's also a, a push to revive uh, rice output, uh, a, a program to increase rice output and give away food stamps to the public which are very similar also to what his father did. So we will see if, if this trend continues. Even in his, in his uh, appearances, he would um, recreate photos of his father signing this type of measure or um, uh, those kinds of things. So um, policy-wise and even uh, events-wise, even um, optics-wise, Marcos is doing this. So we will see if, if, if there's, there will be a continuation of this thing, uh, this trend in his second year. Andrew, we've seen protests in Manila. How much momentum is there? Um, so typically, um, there are protests in uh, that coincide uh, the the State of the Nation address. Uh, even even in past administrations, this is this is uh, um, this is to be expected. Uh, but so far, Marcos has maintained uh, um, um, strong support from the public. He's very popular uh, according to surveys, and his. Uh, he has also held a strong majority in Congress. So right now, uh, he, he, he seems poised to be able to push his agenda in Congress going into his second year. 